Hey guys, Aquadulus here, and this uh, last Sunday I went to Locals and I put together a new deck and I actually had forgotten it here at home. So, uh, looking through my um, backpack, um, I found this anti matter stun deck I made a little while ago and I honestly just forgot about it. <laughs> um, not sure how, but... Um, wasn't exactly perfect. I played with no side deck, um, and my X deck is very not there. So uh, I went two and two with this, or two two surprisingly with this. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys kind of what I played, and uh, I know exactly kind of how I want to, uh, what I want to do with this deck as going forward. So um, you guys kind of get to see the process of what it's like for me whenever I'm like building things and changing things so this is going to be really interesting um so first off i played three copies of fossil dyna the mvp of the deck um if you slip face up no spe uh destroys all special summon monsters and then uh just says no special summoning whatsoever so uh do really love the dual saga um Ultra Rares, I, I just love that type of rarity from that set. They're so beautiful. Um, next up um, is three copies of Inspector Border. Um, overall, this was actually pretty nice and fairly decent. Uh, if you don't know what it does, it basically limits uh, the amount of effects each person can use uh, depending on the type of monster on the field, so, or up to the number of monsters on the field, so the more there is, the more effects we can use. Um, did fairly decent overall. Um, going forward, though, this is something I will probably side deck, I feel. Um, then I played one copy of Thunder King Ryo. I only had one, and I'm honestly just going to cut it. It was trash. It did nothing. Um, it is a good card, but as of right now, it w it's just not super, super great. Um, so, you know, down the road in, in um, formats to come, this could actually be really, really good again. But, at least at Locals, it just didn't do super well. Um, and because I only had one Thunder King Ryo, I played one of the Barrier Statue of Fire and then one of the Wind... Um, just because I know people don't really play anything of these attributes. Um, I'm probably going to drop the fire for maybe an earth one. Um, because we are, we do have one Salaman great player who doesn't play too often though. And then, uh, we, someone else is getting into it. So that's a maybe-ish. I don't know. Um, but that's it for the actual monsters. Um, nine monsters. I did play a hand trap. I played three Ash Blossoms because it's just kind of a staple. Um, didn't really s see it too, too much. Um, I mean, it, it, it did fairly decent. It's Ash Blossom, so, yeah. Um, then going off to the spells, I played three Pot of Dualities, um, just kind of a standard. We're not special summoning, really, so it's cool. Um, and then we, you know, we get to pick essentially out of the top three cards of the deck. We get to pick one, which is pretty nice. Um, then I played three, uh, card demise. Um, draw until you have three cards in your hand. I saw this way, way too much. Um, there were so many hands where I had like two of these. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It was, oof. Uh, just way too much. Um, and then two pod desires, staple, um, any deck. Um, some people still call it an egg nine, which is dumb. And then lastly, two moon mirror shields. Um, I want to bump this up to three. Um, I didn't see this enough, and... Like, this with either, like, a barrier statue or fossil dino is pretty much game. Um, so yeah, probably, like, one of the best cards in the deck. So, definitely want to bump this up to three just so I can see it more often. And then, going on to the traps. First of all, I was playing the Solemn Brigade. Um, 
three strikes and one warning. I couldn't find my judgments at the time when I made this. Um, so yeah. Um, played three copies of Lost Wind. Oh my gosh, this card did so many wonders. It was great. Um, this essentially kept um, either my barrier statue or fossil Tina alive whenever they normal something that was bigger. Um, I mean, not normal something. Oh my gosh. I'm um, sorry. Whenever, um, crap. Whenever, like, I summoned a fossil dyna, um, I would use this and on something, like, um, something they already had, uh, to essentially keep my fossil dyna alive and just swing over, um, and, you know, to get, to negate effects and stuff. But there was a little dual versatility with this because it can keep your fossil dyna and bear statues alive. I really do love this. It put in so much work. Oh my gosh. Um... Then I also played three copies of There Can Only Be One because all of the monsters I play are different act or, um, different types. So it was kind of one of those, uh, there's no reason not to play it. Um, it did fairly decent. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, something, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, then I also played three copies of Summon Limit. Um... This did pretty well. It's kind of the same thing with uh, there can only be one. Uh, again, I'm just not well. I'm not special summoning so or at all really. So um, there was a game where I actually did have both down, and it, I just kind of auto won that. So um, I don't know. I did something I'd probably have to test more uh, out a little more. Um, then I played three copy of Waking the Dragons. Um, no one was really popping my back row, um, and then the few times people, there was like, I think a few, like two incidents where people actually started to pop my back row, and, um, one of the times I didn't have these, uh, so the one time I got to pull it off, it felt really nice, but I just saw this way too much, um, <laughs> There was one duel where I, at one point I had like all three set because I opened two and then drew the third off of um, what you call it? Um, can't think of it. Uh, card demise. So, um, probably definitely gonna side deck it. Maybe keep like one or two in the main deck, maybe ish, but probably gonna be more side decked. And then, lastly, two storing mirror force. This was a little MVP. I loved this so much. This um, helped me with like two games, which was pretty really uh, pretty nice. Um, and overall, it did its job whenever I got into it. Um, helped me keep, you know, my little berry statues and my fossil dino alive. So really happy about this. Um, that's it for the main deck itself um the extra deck i just played uh i played a brionic um a scarlet red dragon archfiend um super heavy samurai steam train king which i love this card um if you guys are unfamiliar which probably most of you guys are um, so it attacks in defense, it uses its defense as attack, so 4800 attack basically. Um, you can discard two cards, then destroy, or, um, yep, destroy two cards your opponent controls basically, and then, uh, once per turn you can banish all spells and traps in the graveyards, and then inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each one banished. Um, this is what I went into when... I actually got um, Waking the Dragons off, and this actually just won me the game. My opponent just didn't get to their out for it. So, I mean, they had, like, uh, after the burn, I think they had, like, 400 life points. So, and then uh, Invoked Purgatrio. This is all I could get to. Um, basically, I noticed this was in my backpack, and I realized there was no extra deck for it, and I think I had about 30 seconds, so I just grabbed the closest extra deck cards. So, that's what I played this weekend. I enjoyed it. Definitely know what I want to do going forward with it. 
overall, definitely something I enjoyed. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys got any comments, go ahead and drop those. Give this video a like. Um, want to join my Discord server, link in the description down below to that. And then link in the description down below to my Patreon and my Facebook page for those who want to see what am I doing as far as the game go, uh, game state and all. Uh, in between videos. Thank you guys for watching.